Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, um, in this video, I'm going to be doing a, like, bead with me type of whip and chat. Um, today is Monday the 23rd before Christmas, and I have no idea when you're going to see this video. You're probably not going to see it until closer to the new year. Um, it's just the way it fell. I mentioned in another video, I, again, I don't know if you're going to see that one either or when, if you're going to see them in order, but my husband's coming home tonight for his off week. And then next week I'll be in Arizona with my mom and she has absolutely horrible service. So bad that I just cannot upload any videos over there. I tried when I was there last time and it took me a day and a half of trying to get it to upload before um, I decided to leave and my video finally uploaded somewhere else <laughs> and um, when I come back it's gonna be my husband's off week again so I'm pretty much screwing myself out of three weeks of video time so um, at this point I have at least um, videos to post two videos a week which is really gonna hurt my analytics but if I can by chance get this video done and another video today, I might be able to bump that up to three videos a week um, just to keep my analytics in order. But I'm going to be starting, I need to get a pair of scissors real quick. So it is morning here. I don't have a whole lot to do today. This video is also not going to be very long, maybe 30 minutes um, because I still have a whole bunch of stuff that I need to do today. And so if you see my pajamas down here, don't mind me. It just, it is what it is. So um, this is my Harry Potter beaded cross stitch. And here is my chart right here. Um, I don't know where I'm going to go from here. Um, I've kind of noticed some discrepancies with the chart and with this especially in a lot of these bulkier areas here I'll notice that there'll be like one um, mismatched color it'll have the wrong symbol according to what's on here and so it's kind of been a little bit irritating in that sense um, but honestly you know you just you do what you can that's why I've kept the chart here um, their stamping process might just be a little bit different than like uh the people who do like the cross stitch charts and that's why but um i'm just gonna i'm actually gonna go and fill in all of the blanks right here because i've noticed that doing it this way the bees are harder to fit um by jumping around like this and it's just easier if you stay um going straight and i've noticed that my progress um actually goes a lot quicker when I just go in order so that's what I'm gonna do and um yeah I don't have a lot of this part marked off which I've already done because I've tried just following the pattern here but since I put it on my scroll I can't see um the code um the legend I don't even know what side it's on yeah I'm not sure so you know, it is what it is. We're just going to get started. I'm going to cut a long piece of thread. This thread was a lot bigger when I got it. I'm kind of worried that I'm going to run out, but then, like, not at the same time. I don't know. Um, with this, I use a ridiculously long piece of thread because it runs out really quickly. And I think it's just because the um, beads are so bulky that it runs out really fast. So... Yeah, I'm going to have to pause here in a second and go get my coffee. My daughter is also feeling really sick. She started feeling really sick yesterday. Um, I don't know why. I don't know if she has what I got because I had a cold the other day as well. Ugh, I'm going to have to... Why don't I have a needle binder on this? I'm going to have to cut this because it... Do you guys see that where it's fraying? So I'm going to cut that off. I just sat too long without doing anything with the edge. So, yeah. So, what have you guys been up to lately? I have not... Well, I'm actually, like, always busy. Um, 
if these videos go up in order, you guys would have already known that I did get a new cat um, for my kids. That was one of the things that they asked for for Christmas. And unfortunately, um, the kittens go ridiculously fast at the animal shelter. And so I had to get it really quickly. And um, when I went, I originally they told me that they would hold the cat for me until Christmas Eve because they're open on Christmas Eve. And um, when I went to go adopt him, they said no. They told me, well, no, we don't do that. So I apologize if somebody gave me wrong information. So I was a little frustrated with that because I had to come home with him Saturday. So he's been here for two days and he, don't get me wrong, he is the cutest little thing ever. But uh, I don't know. Honestly, I think it's better that way because... Um, Actually, it gives him a little bit more time to get acclimated to the house, which is good because I'm going to be leaving next week. Well, probably Saturday or Sunday, I'm going to be leaving for a whole week. So, or at least, you know, five or six days probably. So, let me see where I am at here. So, it looks like the green X is, uh, boom, boom, yes, 14. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I might even leave a day early. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. It just, it depends. I really enjoy going out of town to see my mom, but it's a lot of work with the animals. And my stepson, who also, I'm just doing my, my loop behind here so that I don't have to tie a knot. Uh, my stepson, he, you know, he's a sweet kid, but he just forgets a lot of things that he's supposed to do, especially when it comes to the animals. And, um, you know, it just, it worries me when I leave. Normally we get, um, I'm really close to the edge down here, which is why I'm having a hard time coming into the hole. Um, normally we get a house sitter and... Oh my gosh, what in the world? Did I miss the loop? Where did the bead go? How did that happen? I believe we get a house sitter. And, um... We have somebody here, but I don't think we're going to do that this time. I can't hear somebody. Oh, I think my dog busted in from outside. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I am in the dang loop. There. So this um, piece is almost too big for the scroll frame. It actually is too big for the scroll frame. Um, I thought I was going to be able to get the edges a little bit closer, but it's so thick with the piece of Ada that it's just, um, the edges tend to fall off um, here, like not on this side here, but I don't know if you guys can see right here, it's a good size, but on the other side, like you can't even see how much um, of the scroll there's left because I don't have a lot of space at all. So anyway, what kind of shows have you guys been into on Netflix or whatever you guys watch? Uh, I have been watching, well, um, on Hulu, I've been watching X-Files and I haven't finished it yet. I don't even know what season I'm on. I think I'm on season, I want to say I'm on season eight, but I might be mistaken. I think I'm on season six, to be honest. I think my dog's going to come in here. Oh no, he walked away. Yeah, I'm on, I think I'm on season six, but, um, so I've been trying to finish that. And then, um, I started, well, I finished, let me see, I finished Riverdale and then I finished, what was I watching after Riverdale? It was something really short. Oh, um, the new season of The Magicians came out last week and I finished that already. I don't think they have very many episodes. I think they have like 13 episodes or something. So I finished that. 
Um, and I think, well, no, I've been watching Charmed. So um, I think I'm just going to continue watching Charmed until I finish that and X-Files. And then um, go from there. Was there a beep in here? Or... See, that's what makes it hard is I can't tell. No, that piece is... I think I put the wrong color in that one right there before because it looks yellow. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, I tried to watch Charmed before and I just wasn't that into it. Um, I don't know why. I just... I don't know. I think because it's so old that the graphics are so different. Um, but I ended up watching it and... Or I started it over again, and I'm actually really enjoying it this time. So I'm pretty sure I, I'll finish it. Because I'm already halfway through season one, so, you know, that says something, I guess. Um, I just, what kind of makes me nervous is because I don't like when they change characters. And I know that they had some kind of something where Shannon Doherty left the show, or got fired I don't know what the, the thing was but I've, I've heard <clears throat> um with other shows that she was really difficult to work with my dog that she's really difficult to work with and so I don't know I'm gonna have to look up and see what happened I just I don't particularly care for her anyway but I just once I'm invested in a show I just don't like when they change characters so and I don't know. Why is there a loop right here? And where did this come from? All right, I'm gonna pause you guys so I can go get some coffee and figure out why this loop is here. Okay, so you guys are at a slightly different angle. Um, just cause I feel like it'll be easier this way. So hopefully you're not like too far away that you can't see. Uh, I did fix that loop situation, so hopefully I can keep it from happening again. And let's see, for now, I'm just going to continue working with this green color. So it might be a little bit boring for you guys, but, um, you know, I don't think you're here to actually watch me. And I'll, um, I, I like to watch people stitch, especially um, cross-stitch. I... A lot of the whipping chats, I actually watch a lot of it. Um, and, you know, of course, uh, sometimes I do um, do my own stitching, you know, alongside. But I, I do generally enjoy, why is this so loose? Enjoy watching um, people stitch as well. I'm pulling out, I don't know why there's so much extra thread down there. But that is pissing me off. Let's see if I can hide it. I don't know what happened there that that loop. Sometimes the, the beads will get stuck. I mean, not the beads. Sometimes the thread will get stuck in such a way that I can't fill it. And I'll continue. And it'll have like a massive loop on the bottom where it got stuck. And didn't like affect my like threading at all. See, now I have this weird loop here. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to try to fix it again. Am I getting it? Oh man, this is really pissing me off. I don't know what happened here that this is happening. I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to see it. No, you can't. I actually need to move it because I can't see it either. <sighs> Give me a second, guys. I have to turn my frame over and figure out why. I know you guys can't see it, but I just I don't want that extra in there. I have no idea how that happened or where, actually. I don't know. I can't figure out where it's coming from. Okay, let me just put this back and continue on with my stitching. Make sure you guys are still 
and focus, not really. Can you bring this down or? Okay, I don't know. Hopefully this is gonna be a good angle for you guys. I feel like, I don't know, to be honest. So this is from the Matryoshka DIY, Love DIY store and I've noticed that they have these double beads. Well, they come apart. Um, you just, I find the hole where um, you can't focus either. I have been having so much trouble with this phone getting it to focus. Ugh, anyway, you find the hole and you um, put it in and then it, you just snap them off and it comes apart. Most of the time it comes apart where the paint is still intact on both pieces so you don't have to worry about it. Oh no, I'm putting it on the wrong side. I have done that so many times where I put it on the wrong side. Let's see if I can get that through without pulling anything else out. So yesterday I made my grime guard and I'm really excited about it. I want to see about making some more. Um, I want to try making the various sizes and I think, um, you know, when you make stuff, you kind of figure out like what's going to work for you and things. And so I feel like, um, I am going to adjust the pattern a little bit. Not much, but a little, just to be more what I want. Oops, I think I bumped you guys. And you cannot see shit either. So what do I got to do? Maybe zoom you guys out a little. Turn you some more. No, I don't like that setting. There we go. Hopefully that's a little bit better. I know it's not the best view. Uh, I'm looking into getting an arm, one of those arms. I feel like that's going to be a lot better for videos like this, um, you know, I keep putting it on the wrong end. I keep putting it on the back side, which I have done before. I do have beads in the back. Um, anyway, game guards. I have a couple of small ideas coming into the new year, things that I want to do. And I think it's going to be a really fun um, project and something to do. I don't want to say anything yet, but it does involve gram guards and it does involve um, cross stitching. I'm not going to be making them to sell if that's what you're thinking. Um, so, you know, I just, yeah, I just don't want to say anything yet, but I thought maybe I could just do like a little teaser you know, and see. And so that's why I've been doing this. Um, also has to do with um, some of the things that I've gotten on AliExpress. Um, so I don't know. Time will tell. We'll see how it goes. Um, coming into the new year, I'm going to spend the next couple of weeks planning and researching and doing a couple of things. Um, not that I haven't already been doing that anyway, but you know, just these things kind of take time. Um, uh, I am also working on restocking Mystical Diamond Art. Well, we're really not out of stock on anything. We're out of stock, I think, on Salem the Cat, and that's about it. So, um, I will be getting, I'm looking at getting three new designs, and then restocking, I think, Salem the Cat, and there was one more. Which one was I restocking? Oh, Flaming Lotus, because I'm out of stock on Flaming Lotus. So, yeah, I will be restocking both of those. Um, I know you guys said, I got a lot of people saying they wanted more cat designs, which I just found really odd because it was one of the highest requested things for new designs. And my Salem the Cat image sat there for so long. Um, I've never had to restock it until now. Until, oops, sorry guys. The last one just barely sold out, um, last, like last week or so. And so... I just, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to restock it, but, you know, it is what it is. I do know that Flaming Lotus is going to be restocked for sure. Oh, I haven't even told you guys. So, um, last week, um, my, one of my daughters really likes to drink coffee. So I give her 
coffee in the mornings. Not much, like about a cup, like a, you know, a measuring cup worth amount. And, um, she left her coffee cup in the truck one day and, um, the next, I think I, I went to take it out the next day because we were, you know, getting in the truck and leaving again. And, um, I noticed that it looked really weird. I thought she was biting the cup because that's kind of what it looked like. And, um, I asked her, she said no. I should I wish I would have taken a picture of it, but I didn't. But the edges of the cup were oh my god, what are you pulling up now? The edges of the cup were all um ugh. hold on guys, I'm gonna have to gonna have to tighten this frame because it is not staying tight for some reason today so anyway um I noticed that the edges of the cup around the top looked like they had a ton of freaking bite marks on them and um trying to make sure you guys like aren't too far away and I thought oh she's biting it so I asked her and she's like no mom I'm not biting it and so I thought, you know, she probably just doesn't want to get in trouble. So I left it at that. I had to throw the cup away because it was like a really cheap plastic cup. And I didn't want like the paint chipping off into her drink or anything. So I left it or I threw it. Um, and then I started noticing that um, like, well, okay. So then, not the next day, but like a week later, we left some stuff in the truck and my daughter had gotten some food gifts for my son and for, um, my daughter. So she went to the truck and I told her, well, let's leave them in the truck so that they don't see them. And when we're ready to wrap them, we'll come out and get them. So we left them in there for like two days and my daughter fell asleep early last night. So I told my other daughter, go get the stuff so we can wrap it. And so she went to the truck, she brought in some stuff and then she said, mom, we're going to have to get Orly, which is my son, another gift. And I said, why? What's wrong with the other one? I said, so you already picked out one. And she's like, no, mom, the cat got to it. And I was thinking, like, what the hell? Like, the cat, why, how did the cat get to it? So, you guys know that we adopted a new cat, because I told you a few minutes ago. Well, when um, she thought that I picked the cat up in our truck, and I didn't. I picked the cat up in my SUV. Oh, my gosh, I have a huge knot here. I don't know how. I picked the cat up in my SUV and she just chalked it up to me picking the cat up in the truck. And I told her, I said, no, Evie, the cat never went in the truck. Like, there's no way the cat could have got to it. And she's like, well, it's all chewed up. So I went out there and sure as shit, um, it's gnawed through. And you can see all the little, like, scratch marks. And so um, it's definitely a mouse in side the freaking truck and so I went about some mouse traps and put them in there last night but I, I gave it one last test I was like you know what I'm just gonna wait and see so we went to McDonald's yesterday or I went to McDonald's yesterday for dinner to bring the kids some food home and I got my daughter a happy meal and I didn't um want her to have the soda because she's been super sick as it is and um so I didn't, I left the soda in the truck and I figured, let's see if anything happens to the soda because this stupid little thing has been trying to get the drinks already as it is. And so, um, I figured, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. And I ended up having to go to Walgreens last night because we ran out of milk and my daughter 
Um, she takes medication every day, one of my daughters, and the best way to give it to her is with her milk um, because she loves milk and she just, she drinks it anyway. So, sorry guys, I keep bumping you guys. This is not, I think because I keep turning, I don't know. And so, um, I left the soda in the truck. So last night when I went to Walgreens, I noticed that the soda was still there, but the lid was completely missing from the soda. The lid was just gone. And I was looking all over the freaking truck for it. Didn't see the lid anywhere. Ugh, my string fell out. And so I know with 100% certainty, there's a mouse in the truck i have no idea how he got there i don't know if he was there when we bought the truck or what the situation is but i i don't know it just it's really freaking weird so also <clears throat> i'm gonna check my phone real quick um when i noticed that he was in there or when I had suspicions that there was a mouse in there, I decided to go to the car wash yesterday and um, picked up the back seats and sure as shit, there was a whole bunch of rat poop in the trunk. Not like, it wasn't like something you'd see in hoarders or anything because I imagine that they cleaned the truck out when we bought it at the very least, because we've only had the truck for, we've only made two payments on it. So we've had it for about two and a half months. And, um, it just, it's really freaking weird. And I noticed that the truck has this weird smell in it, but I thought that, um, uh, my husband went somewhere one day with my father-in-law and I honestly thought that they sweat in the truck and, like sweat into the seat because that's kind of what it smells like and it's not strong and it tends to like be just when you first open the doors and then when you air it out a little bit it kind of goes away while you're in there um <clears throat> but it's still like the weirdest freaking thing and so I thought I'm kind of wondering now if that's what the smell is and I don't know where the mouse is living if it's living in the truck, I started looking around and noticed like in the bottom corner behind the back seat, there's a piece of the insulation that is like my squeaky chair. Um, like you could clearly tell it's torn away from the wall because there's like a layer of insulation between the truck, like the truck bed is here and then there's the insulation and then there's a cover and then there's the seats and so you could clearly tell like the insulation had been like either scratched away or bit away or whatever I don't freaking know and oh I also my husband left a, a tool thing back there I'll insert a picture here so you guys could see um what that looked like when I picked up the seat and yeah, it's definitely a mouse. So last night I did put some mouse traps in the truck, my son and I, and I haven't checked them yet. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. And I haven't checked the mouse traps yet because I am so scared to see the stupid mouse. I've kind of noticed though that we have that problem out here, uh, particularly since we've moved to this area because um, before... We used to live, so we live like in a pretty standard like suburb looking area and you know, all the houses are pretty close together and the other house that we lived on is actually like our street is here and then, you know, you have two rows of houses on each side and then the street behind us is where we used to live before and so we literally moved the next street over when we bought this house because we really wanted to stay in the area but we had mice problems at that house too. And this is a new area, like built within the last like 10, I think this house was built in 2007. So this is house is um, 12 years old. 
and you know we have that you know that, that just shows that this whole area is roughly you know 10 years old um and it just I don't I guess they were already here when they built this but I one of our neighbors has like oh my gosh his yard is packed with freaking junk and I told my husband like we should tell him that like you know people are having mice problems because we had it over there across the street and we don't know where it was coming from we didn't really know our neighbors that well over there and our walls at that house were higher so we couldn't really see like what our neighbors yards look like or anything and so uh, I'm trying to see what color this one is. So I'm going to do those three. Yeah. And so here, like our walls are pretty low and so we can see into our neighbor's yard and yeah, it's, I kind of think they're coming from over there. And I told my husband, like, we should tell him something. And he's like, no, like he's a good guy. He's like, I don't want him to think that we're like picking on him. And he, he works a lot. You know, and they have two babies. Uh, I mean, he's a really good guy. He's not, like, a jerk or anything. But, like, see, this is the problem I have when I'm trying to lay the beads down is that um, I struggle to get them to fit. I, not that you guys can really tell with the angle that you're at. But, yeah. So, yeah, that's, like, what's going on with that. So, I'm just going to have my son go look because he's, like, not like grossed out by things like that so I know that he'll take it out and see my husband's like if he's eating plastic he might be stuck in there and eat anything so I went to the gas station and they had mouse traps for like a dollar fifty which I was a surprise because I thought they were gonna be like freaking five or six bucks for a small pack of mouse traps but no they were just five bucks or two bucks and um my husband's like just put anything on there and I'm sure he's going to eat it. So I put some peanut butter on there. And so we'll see. I had to drink my coffee and I got this from Meloise. I showed this here on the channel. I unboxed it um, because I do a lot of direct sale stuff too. This is one of the things that I got from a friend. Well, I ordered from her, I should say. So, anyway, we're going to do another color right here. Um, let's see, blue, what's this blue one? I took this off, but this is what I used to clip my pattern on. I got these at Harbor Freight. I think they were like $3 for a pack of six or five or something. I don't know. But I typically keep it... Um, fastened onto the frame right there so I can see it so now let me see here underneath the wing here so these are going to be x's which are going to be 15 so 14 and 15 I get them mixed up all the time because they're so close in color so this is 14 this is what I just finished right here and now I gotta do 15 and I do have more beads um, put away because some of the colors had extra so I'm pretty sure I kitted this up on the channel too so you guys can check that out um, at some point and I know I unboxed it as well you see what I mean though about the string running out and then I don't know how this happens but they never end evenly I don't know if you guys, you guys can't tell but Oh, yeah, here we go. See? And I already cut them. I cut them to be even a minute ago because it was fraying, and they're already uneven again. I have no idea how that freaking happens. I swear. It just is frustrating. I tell you guys, I go through the string like freaking crazy because the beads are so big on here. They're not as small as the glass beads. And so, um, that's kind of why I'm worried that I might run out. But I was at Walmart. One day looking at the, I cannot find the hole. I was at Walmart um, one day when I was, back when I was working on this a lot. And I 
um, was looking to see if they had any more of that string, just in case I ran out if I needed to buy more, and they do. It has something very similar, uh, thread-wise, and so I, you know, that is an option, I guess. This is just, like, the really thick thread. I don't know what they call this thread, and I don't know why I'm having such a hard time finding these holes, either. I don't think it's embroidery thread or quilting thread. It's, like, one of the, you know how they have, like, um, light thickness thread and heavy duty thread. It's one of the thicker, um, threads, like stronger, if that even makes any fucking sense at all. But anyway, so the time in this video has just flown by. I'm already at 23 minutes, almost 24 minutes. At least on my end. I don't know on your end what it would be. Is there a, supposed to be here? No. So that goes there. And then sometimes I can't get it tight enough. And then I have to just move on. And then pull it. Um, because it just, I don't know. I really love doing this. And I just, I got so tied up in doing cross stitch. That I haven't come back to doing this. And so... Um, I am really, right now, I am really, really partial to cross stitch because it's one of those, um, crafts that is so easy for me to take with me. And that's what I'm absolutely loving about it right now because it's so portable and with beaded cross stitch, you can't do that because like with this, I have it on a frame because it's easier that way. I did not start out on a frame, but once I put it on the frame, I noticed that my progress started um, picking up a lot quicker. And then um, the beads, it's basically like a diamond painting. Um, I have these, these ones all fit inside this Harbor Freight thing. I have 26 colors in this one. And um, it's a good thing that the beads came in reclosable bags because um, there's a couple that didn't, that came with more. So I have extra bags of beads just put away waiting to be refilled. And so, you know, it just, what can you do? It's just not something that's something that I can take with me anywhere. And then not only that, but it's like, if I'm visiting family or whatever, and I pull out this big old hunk of thing, they're like, what are you doing? You know, especially when I go to my grandma's house, like she's so like, doesn't like clutter and doesn't like feeling cluttered and things like that. And so I don't like to take crafts to her house because she gets like really, I don't know what the word is. She gets kind of like anxiety over it. And like if I leave and I have stuff there, she'll like pick it all up and put it away because she, oh, I dropped a bead doesn't like stuff out where'd the bead go I don't know and so with cross stitch it's like so easy because I can just put it up really quickly and not worry about it you know so I don't know if you guys are paying attention in the beginning this whole thing was not filled in and now it's filled in so I'm doing the blue so these are green I didn't do that one so I have another blue here I do have actually okay where did I come out at over there so I think I'm going to come back and do this purple bead so that I don't miss it am I missing a bead down here too yep I'm missing a bead down here I don't know which one this is um looks like it is a has to be a blue one, two, three, four, five. Where does this start? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's a green one. Is it the one I'm doing? No, it's a 14 and I'm doing 15s right now. Okay. See, that's the problem is that you got to kind of really pay attention. So purple X is what? And that's the problem too with this is that what the symbol that you see on here is not the symbol that you see on the chart. And so 
and it's not the symbol you see in the legend, you have to use both legends. And since I covered this legend, you kind of really have to know where you're at. So a purple X looks like it's probably a nine. Because it's the only one in this whole area. Yeah. And I just remembered that that was a nine from, it's like this copper color. It's the only one in this area. I'm sorry if my chair squeaks, guys. It just is. It's an old chair. I've had this chair since I used to make soap and I had my soap making office. We lived here for almost five years and I had it before that. So this chair is about six or seven years old. Probably my daughter's six. Yeah, let me think. Yeah, it's about six years old. Okay, so I do have this area filled in. I'd love to finish this thread, but I cut it really long, and I kind of need to wrap this video up. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I'm hoping that I'm not going to play this back and cringe the whole time because of the quality. So... <laughs> I don't know. We shall see how, how the video came out and go from there. I need to figure out where I'm at on the chart to figure out what bead this is. Might be a down arrow. Yep. So we got to see. All right, you guys. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you who tune in with me um, all the time, every week, or try to anyway. Um, you know, my channel wouldn't be growing without you guys. And, you know, I, I finally feel like I have a place, um, here, which says a lot because it took me a really long time to find the crafting community, especially the YouTube crafting community, because it's completely different than say Facebook and things like that. So yeah. Alright you guys, well thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next video.